above the west door, we have a remembrance of Alexander Mingus and Margaret Campbell, the chief and his wife at the time of the restoration in the 1600s. Inside the kirk, we have more old gravestones, which are more than likely some of the earlier chiefs buried in here, certainly nobles of some sort buried. You've got his face there. This one here has obviously been out in the weather because you can just very, very slightly make out symbols on it, but not very good. This end of the church is the altar end, which can be signified from the Holy Reformation Church with the two indentations in the wall. And that's where the communion chalices would be on show prior to the service. The gravestone we've got here in front of us is one of the oldest and best preserved because you've got the whole, you've got the knight and his lady, and you've got all his children. Uh, there's a young knight in that one and you've got the skeleton. So you can read how many children he had. Unfortunately, you can't read the date he died. The stone next to it with the cross on it is the stone that used to sit at St. David's well up above here. St. David being one of the old clan chiefs, who decided to hand the clan over to his son and became a hermit and lived in a cave at the back of Wien. Slightly newer stones, but again, being quite badly damaged by dirt, damp and erosion. These big stones would have sat flat on the ground and therefore they were open to all the elements.